So in the previous video, we just generated pulses of required period and duty cycle with the help of interval timers in this particular microcontroller RL78 bar F14 series. But in this video, we are just going to write some functions that is user defined functions which can be utilized for generating pulses or accurate pulses or accurate time delays in your program. Let's get started. So what I will do is here I will start writing the function definition here itself in the top of the main and this is the previous configuration that I did in the previous program of generating accurate time delays with the help of timer interrupt in this microcontroller. So in the configuration segment what I will do is I will just come to the configuration segment and uh, moving to the timer segment I will just generate timer interrupt for every one millisecond in my program and coming to the port I am just configuring the P67 pin of the microcontroller's output since I am having an LED connected to the P67 of the microcontroller in my development board that is LED2 I am just going to utilize this LED for demonstrating the output in the hardware so I am making this particular pin as output and coming to the timer configuration I am just going to generate timer interrupt for every one millisecond I'm just generating the code by clicking on the generate code button right over here and here what I will do is moving to the timer user dot C this is the timer ISR function and this is the previous configuration that I did so here what I will do is I will just put a variable right over here count underscore MS and I will increment this particular count ms variable right over here inside the timer interrupt and this variable I am just going to declare this particular variable right over here count ms equal to 0 and what I will do is I will just extend the scope of this particular variable to the main function right over here since I am going to utilize the same variable right over here in my main.c file. So I will write extend uin16 of count ms. I am just compiling and checking whether the program is compiling properly. Yes, it is compiling properly. Now coming back to our logical part, now we are just going to write down our user defined uh, millisecond function which will help us to generate accurate millisecond delays in our program. So void, let me just name this function to be delay ms and uh, this will receive a parameter called delay. And what I will do here is I will just make this particular count ms variable to be 0 and uh, I will just take out this timer channel start right over here and I will put it right over here and uh, here I will write a while loop which will check whether this count ms is less than this delay value and finally what i will do is i will just stop the timer right over here so this is the function definition or the function required for stopping the timer so i will stop the timer as soon as the counter is reached so you can clearly see the programming instructions is very very simple here we are making the count ms variable to be 0 and we are starting the timer as soon as the timer is started this particular interrupt subroutine function will be called 
for every one millisecond as we configure the timer for or the timer interrupt to be generated for every one millisecond. So this particular count ms variable will be incremented for every one millisecond. So as soon as the timer is started, this particular count ms will be started incrementing from zero since we made this variable to be zero just before the start of the timer. And here we will provide the actual delay which requires to be generated. And unless this particular count ms variable is having value less than this delay, this while loop will be holding the flow of program and when this particular count ms variable is greater than this delay value provided as parameter to this function this loop will fail and we will stop the timer and we will skip the function execution of this delay ms function that's it so now we can utilize this particular function for generating exact accurate millisecond delay from one millisecond to any value of uh, milliseconds in our program so let me just uh, provide this particular variable type to be uint 16 bit variable now what i will do is i will just write a simple blink program of uh, onboard led connector to p67 With the help of this accurate delay delay ms of 500 p6 is equal to p6 ambition of negation of one left shifted by seven delay ms of 500 so as per the blinking process written right over here for every 500 millisecond this led will be toggling its state and as a pulse generated this particular pin will be generating pulses of 2 hertz frequency let me just check the output in the hardware i have already connected my even similar emulator to my pc now I am just dumping the code to the microcontroller development board. Now when I run this program, you can clearly see the onboard LED in my development board is blinking at a rate of 500 milliseconds generating pulses of 2 hertz with a period of one second generated from p67 pin of the microcontroller now when you want to change the accurate delay generated what you can do is i can just change right over here so when i change like this the onboard led in my development board will be blinking at a rate of one second I am again dumping the program to the microcontroller. And when I run the program, the onboard LED now is blinking at a rate of exact accurate one second. So, using this technique, you can write your own user defined delay functions that is accurate delay functions which you can utilize for accurately generating delays in your program with the help of timer interrupt so this is one of the technique which we will use for generating accurate time delays in our program with the help of timer interrupt from our renesas microcontroller i hope you understood this See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.